My name's Alan Hart and today I'm with Mike Mackey doing a review on press fitting and press fitting guns. Okay, thanks Alan. This is um, this is the REMS mini press. Um, this is actually my gun. Um, it's coming up to a year old now. These uh, Alan's guns, um, these are actually both manufactured by Nova Press. One's branded Milwaukee, one's branded Jebra, but essentially it's the same gun. I'm going to start off with the REMS. Um, I'll talk you through the REMS. Um, and I'll compare it to the, the Nova Press. So it's probably one of the smallest guns you can get on the market. Um, it's it's a very good gun, um, it, but believe it or not, it's not actually my preference. I do prefer the Nova Press. Um, if you look at the jaws side by side, these are both 15 mil. You'll see that the um, there's not much in it, but you will see that the REMS is slightly smaller. The actual jaws. Um, I've used both guns um, and quite a few installs with Alan now, and I've never not been able to use the Nova Press. And this has never gotten anywhere where this hasn't got. So size-wise, um, they're both fantastic for domestic installs. Um, one thing about the REMS um, is that we can get the M10 stud cutters, which is great. Um, basically, this will cut M10 rod for mounting rings. Um, you can probably see in there, it's threaded, it's got M10 on there. Much quicker than a hacksaw. Fantastic for certainly some of the commercial users, um, or a lot of the lads now that are using the Unistrut on some of the installs. Um, we've also got um, the 45 degree jaws that everybody um, usually wants to ask about and ask me about. Now, it consists of two parts of the 45 degree jaws. This is a one size fits all, it's a Z1 adapter, goes on the gun. And then we've got slings of various different sizes. I've got a 15, a 22, um, I haven't got a 28 to show you, it's in the box. Um, but essentially, um, just click straight into the jaw like that and then you can press it at 45 degrees. It is a little bit different, so whereas um, normally you would probably squeeze it onto the fitting and then pull the trigger and it would, it would press it. This one actually you need to feed it in around the pipe. As a sling around the pipe like that, around my finger, I'm not going to press this obviously. Stick it into the jaws and then press it like that. Um, little talk about fittings, we've only got a couple of fittings here. Um, we've got a, an express fitting. Um, couple of gas fittings here so obviously I'll talk about the different types first you look at the different o-rings in there obviously this is 15 mil being smaller that 15 mil pipe there is a water fitting the 22 mil pipe there is uh, is a gas fitting it says gas on there um, this is a Jebrit fitting this is a Yorkshire Express fitting Alan prefers this fitting over this fitting for a couple of reasons uh, one it's got a cap in it stops dust getting in it and secondly um, it's got this bit of plastic so Sometimes when you press with the guns, the guns can stick to the fittings. Um, Alan likes the Jebrit ones because they'll never stick to this fitting as long as that bit of plastic's there. I don't think it's a massive issue because you can just put something called dry slide on your jaws and it stops them from sticking. Um, I'll go back to the guns now and, and show you how to press and, and obviously uh, explain again why I prefer the Nova Press over the Mini Press. Alright. So we're going to press 22mm gas pipe onto 22mm pipe. So technically what you're supposed to do is you've got a depth marker which you're supposed to line up, make a little mark, push the fitting on like that and then press it. So I'll use the uh, Nova Press first. So things that I like about the Nova Press is you don't actually have to hold the button down for it to fully press. So if it's in a tight spot or it's a bit awkward you just need to hold it for a couple of seconds and then you can let go. So that's it, that's the cycle done. As you can see on there, um, you just take the bit of Jebrit mark off there, the, the little bit of plastic, and the REMS mini press. It's a little bit more noisy, maybe not as smooth. This is the Yorkshire, Yorkshire fitting. Noisier, not as smooth, got to hold the trigger down for it to press. It's somewhat nothing. They're both really good guns. Um, this has got a few little advantages over this. Um, this you can use loads of different jaws. So you can get the TH ones, which are good for Henko MLCP, Unidelta MLCP, U-Profile, which are good for uh, Upanor and Unipipe. Um, these are all M jaws at the moment, M Profile jaws, which are good for uh, obviously Jebra, Yorkshire Express, which we've both shown you here, Sana, M Press, um, and and yeah. I uh, I love it. As Jebret would say, don't stress press. 
and uh, if you want my opinion, I bought this gun. I bought this gun and I spent my own money on this. But if I could check, go back in time and swap this gun, maybe purchase a different one, it probably wouldn't be a Rems Mini Press if I'm honest. It probably would be the Nova Press, just for the few little advantages that I've explained. Um, but yeah, there you go. Thank you.